Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of our FU series, where we talk about food, fun, and fitness, everything about health for you. I'm All Queen B, and we have Shaman Spencer from Your Turn Health, and today we have a very special guest, Sarah Spencer, who is a psychotherapist, and over the past year, she's been focusing on providing virtual services during COVID, and we're so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming and being here with us. So as some of you may know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And Sarah has kindly joined us today to talk about self-care, mental health, and also more importantly, what we can do to help those around us. So we really wanted to bring candor around the topic of mental health. There are often negative connotations around it and we wanna break down those barriers and have unashamed conversation about it. So Shaman, let's ask some questions for our audience. All right, guys, March, some will even argue January 2020, COVID, welcome COVID. So how has COVID changed the face of mental health? Uh, so what we've noticed is um, at the beginning of COVID, we, we didn't hear a whole lot about uh, what was going on for people. I think people were just sort of adapting to COVID. And as we go along, we are seeing uh, increase in, in some symptoms of stress and, um, and, and loneliness and isolation. And uh, Canada has even done some polls and we are seeing an increase in, in depression and, and anxiety for sure in some people. Uh, it's sort of exacerbating some of the, uh, the mental health conditions people already have. Um, and then creating some, some, just some struggles for people who don't have mental illness. Um, and it is impacting those who are most vulnerable more as well. What are some general tips that you can give either parents that are watching, younger people that are watching, just for us to help maintain our mental health hygiene on a daily basis? I like the word to use, the mental health hygiene, because that's that's what really what we need to do. And so uh, any kind of physical activity, uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a moderate or extreme exercise, even a walk around the block can be good, getting some fresh air, uh, proper nutrition. Uh, I know you guys did a show not too long about that, and that's really important to our mental health, it helps our brain do the things it needs to do. Um, connecting with other people as much as we can, however we can, uh, maybe not doing it with with videos maybe doing it on the phone uh, speaker phone that kind of stuff or maybe even just walking by homes and saying hello continuing to to uh to, to maintain our sleep and that's important to make sure that we have some sort of uh, routine so going to bed at the same time getting up at the same time and making sure that we do things during the day so that we're actually tired by bedtime uh, engaging in some sort of mental activity. So our brain needs to have some sort of intellectual challenge. So just sitting watching TV is not necessarily the best. And so doing that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, that, that, that's uh, a lot of the stuff that we need, but also some soothing activities like meditation, cuddling with loved ones or with pets, that kind of thing can all be really good tips to take care of ourselves during this difficult time. But I like what you said, that mental stimulation as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And definitely can take all kinds of different forms, right? Whether it's it's artistic or uh, some people like math puzzles, some people like reading. Like there's all kinds of different things that we can do to stimulate our brains. Yeah. And I was just curious, like if we're looking at our own circle, our families and friends, are there typical signs that we should look out for? Um, in the people that we love if they're struggling with some mental health issues. Certainly. So, you know, often uh, people will ask me that, especially people who take care of other people. Like, how do I know if my kid's okay or if my aging parent is okay? Um, and it's often if they act differently than they've acted before. So if they're eating less or more, if they're sleeping less or more, if they're spending more or less time with friends and more or less time with, with family, um, in, for kids, are their grades poorer than they usually are? I know it's difficult. We're online. Online learning is different. It might affect grades, but are they really, really different? And is it because they're having a hard time with attention and that kind of stuff? Um, and so really it's, it's like, how are they usually? And if they're not like that, then it's a red flag, whether it's more or less exercise, more or less of whatever 
they're trying to tell us something. And then some people are just really good at telling us, um, whether it's in metaphor, right? So like, I'm feeling like a lonely tree in the middle of a park. Well, what does that mean? Uh, and exploring that. Uh, and so the words people say um, and, and the things people say to us can also indicate whether or not they're well. And it definitely makes sense that, you know, everyone does have a bad day at some point, but if there is a prolonged amount of those um, signs, then we definitely need to look out for them amongst the people that we love. Definitely. Um, Great. Do you have any tips and advice that we can, you know, do to support each other during this time, to support our friends or family who are going through this tough time? You know, given that we're, we're all told to be stayed at home, often we have a tendency to start withdrawing from other people. So really reaching out to one another and making sure that we're connecting with one another is really important to make sure that we're all well. Uh, but there are other things as well. So uh, letting people know that we're all experiencing something similar while also acknowledging that it's different for everyone is also good. Uh, but also letting people know that there is help available out there. So knowing your boundaries as well. So if someone, let's say, is using more substances, going, you know what, this is beyond what I can help and letting the person know, maybe you should go talk to a professional that might be helpful for you. Yeah. Okay. So let's end it on a positive note. So we're not, we're not putting anything under the rug. Like it is mental awareness month. Um, but aren't there some positives that have come out of this? Yeah. So, um, you know, COVID is a weird situation. And when there are weird situations, sometimes we act in weird ways or we feel weird things or we're uncomfortable. And sometimes that's just normal reaction to an abnormal situation. Yes, there are people who are suffering. There are increased rates of, of uh, depression and, and anxiety. And the other thing is, is that in weird situations like that, there's also a potential for, for what we call post-traumatic growth. So we talk a lot about post-traumatic stress disorder, but we don't talk a lot about post-traumatic growth. So sometimes these situations actually spur people to go, you know what? I need to make changes in my life. And these are the changes that I can make. And so some people, like Shaman, you've probably seen people who have access to your services to, to get more fit during, during COVID. I've had people who have come to me and they're like, you know what? I have some extra time. I wanna do some personal development stuff, right? And so there's growth in this. It's not just doom and gloom. I love it. I love it. What a great way to end this episode. So before we leave you guys, we just want to remind you that this episode is not in any way a substitute for any mental health support. If you feel that you need additional support, um, more professional support, and you're based in Canada, there is a crisis number that you can call and we'll just post it. So Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We really appreciate everything you've given us, all the great advice and tips. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was my pleasure to work with you.